Here we're going to repair a faulty APW9 power supply. This unit failed to output the appropriate voltage. We can diagnose and repair this PSU by feeding it 110 volts instead of the required 220 volts. On a working unit, we should see the fan spin when plugged in. The voltage across the 6-pin connector of the unit should read 12.3 volts. The positive probe of the multimeter should touch any of the bottom pins, and the negative probe should touch the pin above it. In this case, we're reading 0 volts, this indicates the fan spin issue is not due to hardware failure. Then, we need to read 21 volts across the unit's output. Since this PSU is not connected to its miner, we have to bypass the control board to get power to the output. To do so, we need to short the last two pins of the control board connector. Here, we're using a push-button switch as a fail-safe. In this case, we're reading 0 volts, which means this circuit has critical damage. To further diagnose this unit, we need to disassemble it. We unscrew the case from the board and unplug the fans. The next step is to do a visual inspection of the board. At first glance, we see this unit has a damaged resistor at R32. Then we're going to read the voltage of the big capacitor, which should be 420 volts. To do so, we need to cut some conformal coating from the board to expose the connectors. In this case, we're reading 2.3 volts, this indicates that the fuses are not burnt. Consider subscribing. In part 2 we'll show you how to replace the broken components.